Hey everybody, I'm back with another Tomy Pocket game. This time it's Pac-Man. Originally this was released as Marble Catch in 1978, then in 1979 as Secret Passage. Both of those had a more yellowish green look. And then as Pac-Man in 1980. And you gotta really like the look at this. I like the nice sticker right up here and the little Pac-Man. And as you move them back and forth, Look at that. Waka, waka, waka. He opens and closes his mouth. That is awesome. So the goal is you have these 10 ball bearings up at the top. You drop them one at a time. Kind of like Plinko and the price is right. They'll go down these pegs and you want to catch them in Pac-Man's mouth and then bring them to this hole in the center that you can see right there. If you get it in that hole, it'll go in the scoring hole. If not, it'll go in the out. So let's see how well I can do. So there's a little knob right here that I use. Oop. Oh, and I got it to turn the little wheel at the top. Oh, and I missed. Ah. Got it. I think my high score is something like six, maybe seven. Got it. Let's go from the other direction. You can go both ways. Ah. And I missed that one again. So I got four out of ten. Not that great. There is no ranking on the back, just some uh, basic instructions. It says for ages three and up. If you want to play again, it's a little bit tricky. You have to get the ball bearings back to the top. And usually it takes me a few attempts to do this. So I'm like going back and forth like this. That's the only downside of this, really. Other than that, I really like the game. You see there's some still on the bottom. I'd have to do it again and keep doing it until I got all ten at the top. Overall, I really like the game. I think it's a very simple but effective game. Uh, not exactly my favorite, but the the Pac-Man design, I think, fits really well. I like the the sticker here, the Pac-Man, how he's, he moves his mouth. That's really cool. If you're looking to get this on eBay, you're looking at $10 to $20 for a new one. I saw, or I'm, I'm sorry, for a used one. I saw new ones for about $20 to $30, somewhere in that range, maybe $25. This, if you're a Tommy Pocket Game Collector, this is one of the ones that you probably already have, or if not, you probably should put it on your list. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rank all the Tommy Pocket Games that I've uh, reviewed so far, because Atari Creep, I believe, said, why don't I do that? So I think I will do that, just like I do with the old retro video games. So let's go to the rankings. Okay, at 12, I have Bowling. At 11, I have Clown Catcher. At 10, I have Letter Loose. At 9, I have Pass the Puck. At 8, I have Space Invasion. At 7 is Biplane Battle. 6 is Seal Circus. 5 is Touchdown. 4 is Robot Factory. 3 is Today's Game, Pac-Man. 2 is Baseball. And the number one game on my list for Tommy Pocket Games is Burger Catch. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos, including other Tommy Pocket Games. And I will see you next time on the next Nosewear Gamer video.